Hi and welcome, I'm Jonathan Heath, Senior Product Manager here at Vertif, and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit today about what's in the box of our ACS 8000 series. So besides the unit itself, we actually do have a nifty set of accessories and documentation that comes along with it. Let's take a quick So with it comes quick start guides for both installation of the brackets and the unit itself, as well as warranty and regulata regulatory information, and of course cables. Now this is an international uh, SKU, part number so that each of the uh, units will have a matching number of power cables and these have data center cables as we call them because they connect into power distribution units, PDUs. So rather than wall sockets they have the PDU for international use. And because we have a dual power supply we have two of those well. Now also this is a special unit because it is a cellular enabled unit so we do have the ears for connectivity there for wireless. And we do have models that have the cellular built-in option uh, as well as an integrated analog modem as well, uh, or models that don't have that, as well as models with both single and dual AC and single and dual DC. So those all have uh, configurations to match the needs of your uh, installation. Now to first contact this unit, we do include proverbial serial connectivity, so you can hook it up to a laptop and do the configuration that way, or you can use the built-in web UI. There's a static IP address on the ethernet interface, so you can connect into that, or you can use our DSV software to provision these devices as well. One thing that we do like to note is that the ears and the hardware that are needed to uh, fully rack this unit are included. So this can be used here for a two post or a full cabinet uh, data center unit. We have all the hardware that you would need, but this is often forgotten as it's tucked away but those ears are included in the box. A retention clip for the cables themselves. So the power cables, make sure that they're locked in nicely so if you have a busy environment, those don't get pulled out. So those are the accessories that come along with our unit. Well, let's take a peek at the interfaces that go along with. So on the front here, we have our cellular connectivity. We have USB ports, and those can be used for either USB peripherals or as actual serial consoles. So added to the RJ45 serial consoles, so you can use those as well. There's a sensor import. There's a digital IO as well. So you can input digital signals there and take actions on those. There's a full Linux operating system involved. So there's a lot of customizations that the user can do. There's an SD card here for things like data logging. If you want to store the transactions for auditing purposes or for security purposes, you can store that either on the unit itself, on the SD card, or actually send it again to our DSV Central management software uh, for, for logging and storage there. Fully redundant uh, AC power here with power buttons, as well as fully redundant Ethernet ports. There's an SFP cage available if you want to add one gigabit uh, fiber connectivity as well, there, there as well. There's a serial console port and added USB elements here for uh, either those peripherals or for USB uh, consoles. And then this is an eight port model, but we do have full 48 port models as well that give you the RJ45 for the uh, serial connectivity, which is kind of the purpose of the box in the first place. So all of this comes together as a single unit that provides remote out of band access to all your serial devices, such as routers, switches, and firewalls. Thanks for the time.